welcome back to my channel my name is camp me and today you guys i'm going to be telling you 10 things that i don't like about this rv life if you guys are interested in purchasing an rv or if you already have one then you already know what's up but yeah let's get right into this video so number one you guys what i don't like about living the rv life is that these rvs are cheaply made look at this right here this right here is exhibit a i could show you several other different things but this is the obvious <laughs> i was sitting right here trying to block it but yeah you can't really block that this happened because i gently pulled it down obviously i, I pulled it down uh kind of rough because it literally just broke but yeah these rvs are cheaply made so if you're a very detail oriented person and you don't want to look at that then definitely invest in uh renovating your rv looking in the bathroom is awful i've said that i wanted to trade out our sink in our bathroom take down that medicine cabinet uh replace these blinds because that just looks really ghetto y'all like I'm ashamed to show it but you know this is the real this is my real life so it is what it is but that's point number one you guys living in RV these RVs are cheaply made number two you guys it gets very hot in the summertime and it gets very cold in the winter time now the solution to that is to leave like a window open during the summer months and to leave your uh, like space heater or not space heater we have like a little fireplace that has an electrical heater i would say to leave that on but if you don't feel comfortable then i don't really know what to tell you just definitely expect to be hot or cold so that's point number two number three what i don't like about living in rv is that it accumulates so much dust i don't know where this dust be coming from we leave our windows and our door open but uh, I know for a fact that there's a lot of dust flying in and out. I've seen it in my videos and I'm like, girl, you look, <laughs> you look like you ain't got your life together. But I mean, it's just because I, I live in an RV and there's just a lot of dust. So definitely expect that living in an RV. Number four, what I don't like about living in this RV is that it runs off of propane. So sometimes, y'all, my husband and I, we kind of get irresponsible and we don't replace our propane. We've gotten better because we don't want to deal with not having a hot shower or not being able to cook because our stove runs on propane or not being able to have central heat in our RV during the winter months. So we've learned to check it every single day. If you're anything like us or how we were in the past, then, then definitely expect to not take a hot shower, not be able to cook. You, won't, you might as well go on to McDonald's or something um, because you ain't gonna have no you know, stove or oven. So that is point number, point number two. That's point number four. The fifth thing that I kind of don't like about living in an RV is that there's no type of privacy. Literally, we have two other RVs beside us, about six feet apart, y'all. And I know for a fact, if I can hear other people, they can hear me and i'm a very outspoken passionate person when i'm talking to my husband especially when you know i'm going in it's just anybody any couple i don't care what nobody says i've learned to quiet myself when i'm talking and um yeah because i don't want everyone all up in my business so that's point number five expect to have no kind of privacy all right point number six what i don't like uh i mean it's the obvious for everyone there's not enough space in this RV, y'all. Uh, this pantry, uh, this fridge, the closets, you know, the bathroom, there's just not enough space. But we have learned to live within our means and we've learned to minimalize, y'all. And I promise you it's gonna be the best thing you've ever done because you're gonna see you saving a lot of money, okay? Even though that's a point and a downfall living in an RV, in the end you're going to be saving a lot of money because you're not going to be able to buy a lot of stuff because you're not going to have anywhere to put it to me it's like a lose win situation point number seven you guys we had to find out the hard way to leave our water running but the pipes be freezing be aware of that during the winter months you have to keep your water running or whatever um, otherwise you're going to have no running water to take a shower or to do anything else i would suggest like turning your refrigerator off. I know that sounds weird, but most RVs come with a mini fridge in the outside of it. So I would suggest storing your food there. During the winter months, our, our refrigerator went out. 
uh, thankfully my husband you know was telling me let's just wait it out until it gets warm otherwise we would have had we would have had to pay $500 to fix it so definitely turn your refrigerator off during the winter months if you live in a very cold area then that's what I would suggest but if you don't then don't even worry about it but all right the eighth thing that I don't like about living in an RV is that the entranceway gets really dirty really fast yo look at Christian Christian point number eight the entranceway gets really fast really easily I find myself sweeping every every hour on the dot because it just gets like I don't know like and then Christian uses a litter box literally every time I'm finished sweeping he decides to go in his litter box and use the bathroom and then attract the litter outside and I have to sweep again and he knows what he's doing y'all he knows he knows what he's doing entrance way that's what I'm talking about the entrance way gets dirty really fast so if you're anything like me and you don't like looking at dirt because literally I'm sitting right here now and I can see my entrance way and if it's dirty it's going to bother me so definitely expect to be sweeping a lot living in an RV Number nine, you guys, um, what I don't like about living in an RV is that you can't really have company over. And what I mean by that is if you're a type of person who likes hosting parties and stuff like that, it's going to be kind of hard to get, you know, more than, I want to say, like, four or five people in the RV. I mean, you can. You can do it. If you, if you guys like being piled on top of each other, by all means. But if you're anything like me, where you just like being, you know, solo dolo to yourself, then yeah. But so I don't even know why I made that a point. But if you're opposite of me, then it's kind of a downfall because you can't really have a lot of people in your RV. All right. And the 10th thing, y'all, I saved the best for last. I wish we didn't purchase our RV so late in our marriage. I kind of wish we purchased it earlier because living this life. It's just amazing to me. I appreciate it. We have learned to just appreciate life so much more living in an RV, appreciate nature, God's creation. Y'all, it's just a blessing living here. And my last point is I am upset that we didn't do it sooner. So it's really a positive, but it's part of the, the things that I don't like about living in an RV. Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys live in an RV, then let me know some things that you don't like about living in the RV that you live in. And if you guys haven't already checked out my video on the 10 things that I love, then definitely go check that out because there are more pros than cons, y'all. Anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. And I hope you guys have a very blessed rest of the week in Jesus' name. Bye. Christian, say bye. Say bye. Christian. Uh, uh, say bye. What? Y'all, he be, he be talking back. Now you, you want to act up? Say hi. Now you want to act all shy. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye.